Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. And we are going to make a super cool card today. It's called a dome card or a dome easel card. And it's really fun. So we're gonna use the new kit for June, the Mermaids and Friends box. So super exciting, so stick around. Here's a snapshot of the card we're gonna make. Now you can still pick up the box over at the shop, so I'll have the link in the description box for you. And remember, if you sign up for the club by choosing monthly as your frequency, you'll get an extra 5% off and that will save your box for next month. So you'll be guaranteed to get your box next month. So I saw this card on YouTube scrolling my feed and I wish I could find the video that inspired me to do this to do this card. When I do a search for dome cards, dome easel cards, um, it doesn't come up and I don't remember if that's what she called it, but I believe it was a dome card. Now I did a five and a half by five and a half card base and then I am scoring the top of my card flap in three even sections. So then we're going to get four little panels there. So when I'm in, I scored it in three even sections. I'm doing three score marks down the front of this card panel. So then I make sure I cut out the appropriate shape in the appropriate size and glue that on. I'm using the six by six paper pad from the collection so I get to use a lot of beautiful patterns from the paper pad, which I love. And I wanted to use this beautiful underwater mermaid paper on the inside. So I need a hole so we could peek on in to the inside there. So I just took one of my dies in the appropriate size and just cut that out, run it through my Big Shot, and I could save that little circle for another project. Now I'm going to add this designer paper to the inside of the card. So I'm just gonna use my liquid adhesive for that. Let's make this card look a little fancy by adding some acetate to the window. So I'm just going to cut out a little square that fits right over that circle, glue that down with some double-sided strong tape and get that on there. So it'll have a pretty little window and then we could decorate the outside and on the inside. After you add your acetate, your panel will be a little bit stiff, especially if you're using a nice thick acetate piece. So just kind of manipulate it so it goes into a dome. Those score lines are really gonna help you round out the top of your card base there. So let's get out this ephemera pieces. Now these ephemera pieces are so cute and there's so many pieces to work with. So just pick and choose your favorites and then we could decorate the front and the inside. You're gonna wanna pick one of the pieces to be your stopper. So I'm gonna use this jellyfish. So you're gonna add some foam tape to the back of your stopper on the inside of the card. So go ahead and put that tape on there and then position it in the spot you want. And then this will be your stopper so the person can display your card.
I think this card is worthy of a sentiment, don't you think? So let's use hugs and fishes from one of the stamp sets in the kit. I think that sentiment is really cute and you could use that for any occasion. I'm gonna put some double-sided foam tape underneath my banner so it gives it a little lift. And I'm only putting it on the one side before that scar score mark. That way when, the, when you fold the card into a dome, that hugs and fishes don't, doesn't stop um, the top from forming the dome. Just a little tip on that. This kit does come with a little pack of sequins, so I love using sequins on the outside of my card for decoration. So I'm gonna use the, the little shell that comes in there, and then there's these really pretty blue and clear sequins. So this finishes up our card today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I do have the winner for the inspiration hop that we had. So I'm gonna put the winner up on the screen for you. Congratulations. And thank you so much for hopping along with us. It was really fun and I hope you enjoyed that. So here is the final look. I think it turned out so cute and I can imagine so many cool designs using this dome technique. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with your box of the month. Go ahead and hashtag me, not too shabby shop, so I can check out your projects. Here are some more cards from the design team using the kit. Thanks guys, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye guys.